Hey everybody, we're here today at this uh, abandoned gas station and uh, grocery store and it sits right here alongside the road and I'm not sure how much light we're going to have in here today, it's pretty rainy out but if you're interested, come on, let's go check this thing out Get my light out here so you guys can see a little better. Okay. Looks like here's the old um, deep freeze. You can see everything's just left on the shelf. Looks like the mice have found the cornbread mix. sure that Tropicana is going to be any good to drink anymore. Looks like $1.09. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty nasty. Let's see here. December. December 14, 2003 is the expiration date. So that would be uh, quite a while ago. Here we are in the store. Still has the sodas in the machine. Still has stuff on the shelf. Vanilla Coke. So this stuff's been here for a while. That's probably still good, popcorn. <laughs> yep. Here would have been the front door. And the register. Looks like somebody got all the lottery tickets. Surprise, surprise, huh? I can't believe they just left all this equipment here, the ice cream machine. Kind of unbelievable to me. There's the old price gun. Guess they won't be using that anymore, will they? There you go. 
Budget host. I suppose is where we're at. There's the telephone. Hello. Don't think that works. These old paper paper bags still waiting to pack their groceries up. Looks like this half was probably like a hardware store because I'm seeing pipes, the PVC pipe drain, different hardware items here you can see. More pipes. All these different bins. Probably screws and well, there you go. Tape. There's a bunch of light bulbs still there. Gentleman Roach Killer. I don't see any roaches, so it must be working. You got a brand new show in the pack. Got you some light bulbs too. It's got the rubber glass 35 foot roll. Let's go over here and look at some of this other stuff. So it looks like they even had a place for you to sit if you wanted to eat inside. Straw everywhere. My wife tells me there's an ice cream machine out here. <laughs> Maybe they just leave this stuff. Unbelievable. Hot water heater and twirl it in the sink. Let's uh let's head on over here to this next building. Oh wait before I go look at this discovery. Yeah, the all-important safe. And it's empty. Oh well you can't win them all, right? Alright, let's head to this other building. So I think this is the restaurant part we're coming up on over here. You see the windows are all steamed up. That would have been the front door right there. And you can see up here on the top where the storm must have took the siding completely off of there. That probably isn't long for this world. This is the, um, all the rooms that were for rent. And you can see a lot of the doors are open. I've actually been through this already. So I'm not going to go through every room and show you. But I did want to show you a couple things that I thought was kind of interesting. 
Every room still has a TV. And every room still has one of these window air conditioners. Nobody's taking any of this stuff. I looked through most of the rooms, like I said, but some of the rooms, the beds, are still made like they have not been touched since this place shut down. You can see this door was obviously kicked in, so somebody's breaking into these, but nobody seems to care. This one's obviously broken into as well. But here's a good example. Beds are still made. Another TV. Beds are still made. Air conditioner's right there. Unbelievable. To me, this is unbelievable. Anyway, let's head on into the hotel, or the restaurant here. Alright, so here we are. We're going into... I guess what would have been the lobby where you would um, register for your rooms. And then we're going to get back to this, but we have a basement here. This thing is freaking huge. There's upstairs right here. And straight ahead, we're going into this restaurant. I did not go through this way last time. I went straight out into the restaurant, so let's uh, go through this little storage room and see the old cash register here. And somebody's busted out the um, tray. Make sure there's new cash in there. I can actually see. Um, Stuff on the screen in this one. It's hard to explain. I guess this is where they kept all the supplies for the kitchen. And here is the kitchen. There's the old refrigerator. Look, there's the salad bar or whatever with the sneeze guard. Here's the fridge. Let's I think it was empty. Yep, empty. But look, all this other equipment still here. I mean, this was a pretty big kitchen, you can see. Got your deep fryer or whatever. I don't even know what this stuff is. Maybe somebody knows you can tell me what it is. There's the stove, I guess. This huge hood goes over the whole top. I'll try and get a picture when I get to the other side of the room. 246 burner stove here. Huge oven. There's another. You can tell it's a kitchen too. I can feel grease under my feet. Pretty disgusting. Here would be the hot water heater and another freezer. This is a deep freezer. No bodies, I hope. Nope. But look, this whole freezer is still intact. Murder everything. Everything's here. Unbelievable to me. Look at all these pipes that nobody's taken, which is as well unbelievable. Um. Yeah. Stainless steel sinks. Not even sure what that, oh, there's your slop sink. Uh, I guess your, I don't even know what this stuff is. Automatic dishwasher, it says. All right, let's, uh, let's head out here into the dining area. Another refrigerator. There's the beer tap still there and the beer holder for the kegs. 
the behind the bar sink I would imagine yeah so let's see if there's a keg of beer in there wouldn't that be nice huh no keg See there's damage going on up here with the ceiling. Must be leaking pretty good. A lot of water damage. You just see all the plates, cups. Look at this. Unbelievable. Somebody's been being destructive. I like this furniture, it's kind of cool. And I like this stone work. It's pretty cool. I believe that's real stone. You can see the ceilings here. Yeah, very green. I like these um, chandeliers too, this wagon wheel design. Very nice. Really reeks of mold in here though. I'm gonna go see what's back here behind where all these chairs are piled up. So it looks like this would have been our public restroom and you can just see it's raining out today so. You can hear and just see the rain dripping through here. I don't think this is long for the world. But this would have been the ladies. And in the men's restroom here. Little sink. This one's not dripping yet, but you can see the ceiling is about ready to fall in on you. Big, huge picture windows here. I love them. More of that stand work when you would have come in the front door there. And they accept Visa and MasterCard. Oh, look, this door is open too. I don't think the front door was open. It's actually locked, and I'm going to leave it locked. This would have been your entrance way. Very nice. All right, we are gonna go over here and head up into that back room and then we're gonna go check out the basement. Notice this door remains unlocked during business hours. Locking this door during business hours is in violation of West Virginia State Fire Codes. Do not lock this door when the restaurant is opened. I hope you people understand. That is the law. Okay, so this is up the stairs into that back room. And obviously this is someone's living quarters. See the refrigerator and stove and... Wow, you gotta see this back porch is awesome. So right, oh, look at this decay here. That's not good, so we're gonna be extra careful here, I suppose, because this door's been open so long. But look at this view. Got the kid's playground right here. And you got the stream in the background. Very nice. Got your bathroom over here. Yeah, you know, somebody's trying to turn this place upside down, that's for sure. Yeah, the floor is kind of soft here too. So this this side's not gonna be long for this world either. 
looks like attic here. I don't know if there's going to be anything interesting up here other than all these holes you can see. Wow. So there's your, that's probably where the siding blew off. See all these holes to the outside. And, uh, yeah, apart from that, there's really nothing up here. Just a big room. And it looks like we got one more room over here with water dripping down on us. That view is just awesome. I really love that. You're right on the creek. You got this beautiful pond out this window. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But got this nice pond right here. All right. You can see somebody's been doing a lot of drinking in here. Probably the teenagers in the town right up across the street here. But, uh, what we got here? Oh, look, here we go. Nice. There's your hotel right there. And there's the rooms. And there's your dining room. And there's the place at night. Yeah, nice. Glad I found that. All right, let's head down into this basement and check that stuff out. All right, so we're going to head down into this basement. And this place is huge and it is just packed full of stuff as well. Well, somebody just totally destroyed this back door. I don't, I don't understand why people have to do some of the things they do. But they just totally kicked this door in, obviously. So this must have been some sort of gaming room. I'm seeing a bar here, and you got restrooms. And, you know, I don't know if this was a gaming room or... Kind of having a feeling that maybe they had video games or something set up on this bench here. You see these plugs. Leads out into that back door, and you got... Uh, two restrooms here, so I think that's what this side was like a gaming room probably for the kids when you were staying Let's head on down this way This place has just got so much stuff in it. It's unreal Just junk There's a whole tub full of that soap. I need to get better lighting, I know, guys. I'll work on that. Looks like you got your washer and dryer here. Industrial size, obviously. With the windows broke out. Look at this hot water heater. That will heat some hot water. There's another case of this um, little bars of soap for the uh, um, hotel. Just two full cases just sitting there on the floor. More, more washing machines and dryers and refrigerators and wow there's a ton of shelving here probably for the store and head into this next section tons of mattresses tons of them I 
I mean, who knows what's even buried over there. You would have to take all this stuff out to even find out. Unbelievable. There's your wiper blade station from Napa. Unreal. I'm not even sure what these are, but I'm I'm guessing they're probably some kind of massage therapy beds. Push to start hours. Um, yeah. Pure and natural, mild and gentle soap. Just piles, piles of stuff. There's old cash register. I'm going to have to go to the back here to show you guys the um, deep fryer. But yeah, look at all the salt and pepper shakers. Old ones. And there's your neon sign that says open. There's like one, two, three, four, like six of these beds. I don't, I guess they're massage therapy beds. I really don't know. It's the old cash register. There's another one there. Looks like we're coming up on a ton of TVs as well. So we're almost to the back. There's just a ton of TVs back here. Looks like we got water coming in on the floor. Um, there's the old road sign. Kind you put the Whatever message I guess you want on the side, you put your letters up there. I'm sure you guys have seen these a million times. And here's that deep fryer we were coming to get. For like frying chicken or whatever. Fryer King. Yep. It's got all the pressure gauges and all that stuff. I know it's for making deep fried chicken. I've seen them before. Pretty cool. There's some of the old prices for the specials on the sign. Yep. But anyway, I'm going to work my way back out of here. Well, this is just about it for this video. Do-it-yourself carpet cleaning. Hmm. Well, this is pretty much it for this video. Okay, everybody. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video today. Um, if you liked what you saw, please hit like. And if you want to see more like this, please hit subscri subscribe. And hopefully we'll get some more videos to you in the future. Hope you enjoy. Bye.